It's a tough day for our community as we remember the six young lives lost in a house fire late last month in South Bend. That fire happened more than two weeks ago, but the pain and sadness remains immeasurable tonight for that family and those children. The hometown team is doing our best to hold your hand through this period of grief as we remember the Smith Six. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Melissa Stevens. Terry has a night off. A funeral service for those six kids wrapping up just a short time ago at the Century Center where our team has been located all day long. We'll take you there in just a moment, but first we want to show you the faces of the Smith family. Faith was just over a year old. Also pictured four-year-old D'Angelo, five-year-old Deontay, nine-year-old Davida, 10-year-old Demetrius, and 11-year-old Angel. Our Joshua Short is anchoring our coverage from the Century Center for us tonight as the site of today's services. Josh. Hey, Melissa, good evening to you. You know what? It was a sad day for a lot of people, including the family of those six that you just talked about, who you've named, who we've been talking about now for just over two weeks following that tragic fire on LaPorte Avenue in South Bend. One of the things about this memorial that makes it so different is not the fact that, you know, you've got someone who's passed away. You've got six kids who passed away. And the majority of the people in this room, the majority, did not even know them. That tells you just how much this community is wrapping its arms around this family, around those kids, and those who knew and loved them. We want to actually take you inside to the area where that memorial was held today. In fact, at 10 o'clock is when everything really started, but 12 o'clock is when the funeral services began right behind me here at the convention hall. They had thousands of seats just in case because this is a trending topic in this town. And I say that not in vain. Everyone is talking about the Smith Six. Everyone is now discovering who these young kids were. And that was the poignant part to the services today. So what you're about to hear is not from those who are necessarily on stage. You're about to hear some folks who don't even know the family, but were here to show their support for them because they say they've got more in common than just being in the same city and living in the same city where they lived for just over three months. Listen to what they told me earlier. As a parent who's lost two children myself, um, yeah, there's definitely a collect, uh, connection. I can't say that I know how he felt, but I have empathy th towards them because I know the feeling of loss, particularly of children. And I've lost children but it's just horrible, it's sad. Look at these so beautiful, innocent children. May God bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I had to take our time to go get some balloons to release to them. I feel for the dad and the mom and the family. God bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Josh, it's so sad, sweetheart. Six children. Uh, 11 and under that have lost their lives uh, so tragically and um, so it's, uh, it's taken a while to sort of come to grips with this one, uh, but, uh, but we will. David Smith, the father, by the way, the father of those six was here today, along with several other family members, including the uncle of those kids. We're going to hear from him at six o'clock. We're also going to share a story that we've been talking about involving what was found at the scene of that fire a couple weeks ago. We're going to have that as our coverage continues at six o'clock. Melissa, we'll send it back to you. All right, Josh, you've been there all day covering this for us, and we'll hear from you again later. Thank you so much. And so many people are feeling for the family as they begin to seek some type of closure following the tragedy, which brings to mind the next stages of the investigation. We know this fire is still under investigation as South Bend Fire is working closely with South Bend Police and investigators with the Indiana Department of Homeland Security. So here's what Police Chief Scott Roskowski told our team after today's funeral. Hopefully this gives a little help with some closure to them, but there's never going to be closure, closure without an explanation from a police perspective, and we're, we're going to get an explanation. 